industries here in Pampanga are farming and fishing. Kaya alam mo walang problema makahanap ng isda dito. Tulad ng tilapia, hito, dalag, or whatever fish under the sun. So, this inspired me to create a dish using fish. And I call it cracker-coated fish. Gagawin ka na ito. Pagka makahuli na ako. Ang pwedeng mahuli tulad ng sea bass, cream dory, bangus, red tako, snakehead, o kaya tilapia. So ngayon, gagawa ako ng cracker-coated fish at gagamitin ko ay cream dory. Pwede niyo gamitin ang any kind of white fish para sa dish na to. Or you can also use any kind of seafood or meats para sa batter na gagawin natin today. So usually, di ba ang ginagawa natin may um, cereal coated or cracker coated tapos yung mga ibang episodes natin, naturuan ko kayo yung oatmeal coated naman. So, this one is the cracker coated fish. So, here we have the crackers. Gagamitin natin yung two kinds, which is the plain kind of cracker. Tapos yung isa has some sweetness to it. So, we're gonna mix this together dito sa ating maliit na food processor. Our handy food processor. You also have to make sure na malutong pa yung crackers natin because the point of this is maging crispy coated ang ating dish. So, pwede niyo pong haluin yung dalawang klaseng crackers but then gagawin ko isa-isa para magkasya lahat. So, dito muna tayo. Iba-iba rin yung texture na makuha na. May iba na kurong puro, tinong pino, tapos may iba medyo buo-buo pa. Okay. So, this is one. Ayan. So, again, very flexible itong recipe na to. So, kahit na anong cracker that you want to use, pwede. Kung kayo nagda-diet kayo, yung mga whole wheat crackers, ganun. Okay. Hindi natin dito. And then, hahaluan natin ng flour. Haluin natin to. Okay, so hahaluin lang natin to hanggang uh, makita natin na mix kaagad at saka mabuti yung ating flour and the two kinds of crackers. And then, we're going to add the garlic powder. Here, nagsisiso na tayo and we're adding more taste to the crumbly cracker coats. A little pepper. And then, mag-chop ako ng fresh dill. Kung gusto niyo gumamit ng dill from the bottle or dried dill, you can use that also. Although, mas less yung quantity na gagamitin ninyo. Dill is very good or bagay na bagay siya sa salmon or yung mga smoked fishes. There you go. Okay. Now, mas may buhay na yung ating cracker coats. So, kapag humahangin, naaamoy ko na rin yung dill. You can reserve some dill as the garnish later. So, ito gagawin kong garnish later. And then now, we have two eggs. Let's just break this egg. To make this dish creamier and tastier pa, dadagdagan ko ng carnation and bap. So, I will need one and one half cup, which is as much as the 370 ml can. And we'll whisk this in. Okay. 
When you whisk some eggs with mga liquid ingredients, such as carnation evap, malalaman mo when it's fully mixed already, yung hindi nyo na siya nakikita, yung egg whites. Kasi diba there's a certain texture ng egg whites na nagsasama-sama, nagbubuo-buo. So you'll know when you're ready kapag wala na siyang ganon. So this is ready. Now, what I'm going to do is, i-dip ko yung ating cream dory. Here we have it. Naka-filet na siya. If there's no fish in your area, definitely there will be sa mga nearest supermarkets or palengke sa inyo. Yung cream dory po is already available na naka-filet na siya in the frozen section sa mga groceries. So you have two options here. Now, you can either let the fish stay in the egg and carnation evap mixture. Pwede mo siyang i-marinate dito for a few hours if you want. Or pwede mo na siyang ituloy na diretso mo na siya sa batter. Okay. So now, we're going to heat up our oil. And then you can fry it. You can also do this uh, battering in advance. Tapos kapag hindi nyo palulutuin, pwede nyo muna itago sa freezer. When you want to eat this dish already, just take it out of the freezer and then deep fry. Okay, so this is done. Let's turn off the heat. And then you let it dry lang sa paper towel. Pagka nilabasan natin yung ating fish or anything fried or deep fried, kapag pinahintay mo siya for a while, yung pinahinga mo siya, mas nagiging malutong pa siya. Because you drain out the oil. So here we have it. It's just pat the top. Okay. And then I'll just chop some dill to top this. So this is another idea for you kapag magluluto kayo or pag pagluluto nyo ang inyong pamilya or mga mahal sa buhay. Then just stop this. So ito na ang ating cracker coated fish. If you find it too dry, you can always have the sidings of a garlic mayo dip or kahit na anong dip na gusto niyo for the fish, you can also have that. So this is ready to be tasted. Yay! Let's just get a small piece here. Mmm! Para ako nag-fine dining restaurant. It's super crunchy outside and then super creamy inside because of the fish and because of our carnation evap. I turn ordinary dishes to my favorite recipes. My favorite recipes is presented by Carnation, the cooking mmm. Kitchen cabinet designed by Rafael Calero of Kitchen Studio Incorporated. Elba cookers from Italy for the cooktop and oven. Maxim Teflon coated non-stick aluminum cookware. Mass flex knives, gadgets, and utensils. Cookworks. Emarflex. The Lakeshore. Mexico Pampanga. Aquabest. Cafe Isabel. Center for Asian Culinary Studies, Buenísimo, Chef Gino's Gourmet, Yummy Bunny.
Noong Sunday, patlakan lang sa bahay ni Kuya. Dala kong specialty ko. Tined mo ang sopas ko. Ang di ko masabi, nagtipid ako at ibang iba pang ginamit ko. Ngayon, sa bahay ang lunch. Kuya! Balik carnation ako. Now may tastier kaya perfect sa sopas, drink, at dessert ko. Pwede magtipid ng di nasasakripisyong sarap. Balik sarap, balik carnation. The cooking!